It's day six of the Walk Off the Weight series, and today we're gonna boost that walk. Grab your lightest dumbbells and let's go. All right, killer bees, let's go ahead and get moving and grooving. Have your dumbbells completely out of the way and let's get started with our warm up, which is some arm circles and high knees. You guys, welcome to today's workout. I'm Paula B. I'm your best middle aged fitness friend, and we are going to have so much fun today. Today is one of my favorite kinds of workouts in the whole entire world. We are boosting our walk by walking with some very, hopefully, very light weights. I am using my lightest dumbbells, and I want you to know that I get this question all the time What are my lightest dumbbells? Bells. It really doesn't matter. What is light for me is light for me. What is light for you is light for you. If that means nothing, then my friends, please do not have anything in your hands. It will really depend on where you are. Everybody's jingling right now. Bye, Blossom. Wow, that was like the least amount of time she's lasted, right? <laughs> It will really depend on where you are in your fitness journey and frankly, what you have available to you. I want you to know that it is always, always, always better to go lighter than to accidentally go heavier and maybe accidentally injure yourself. Let's go ahead and do some arm crossers with booty kickers. Here's the thing about boosting our walk. It is plenty boosted just by doing the walk all by itself. The dumbbells are, the dumbbells are for something really specific and we're actually gonna talk about that a lot during the workout about what I mean about boosting boosting your walk and what, what you can actually expect from it. But right now, let me tell you about the workout itself. I've got the handy dandy gym boss here set for intervals of 20 seconds, which frankly is like the most perfect interval length kind of ever. And I've got a handful, no, I've got a long handful of different exercises that are all completely low impact, absolutely no jumping today and no transitions to the ground where we are going to do the exercises in mini circuits, meaning that we're going to do three exercises as a little circuit, three three times each. So it's kind of, it's pretty repetitive for a repeating no repeat. Let's go ahead and do some welcome to my homes. But we're not gonna go over the entire list as a gigantic circuit. So we're gonna be getting small doses of a bunch of great exercises. Now, here's the thing. Because there is absolutely no rest, which I didn't mention, but there's absolutely no rest, this is a cardio endurance day where we're really thinking about moving at a pace that we're gonna be able to manage for the entire workout. Don't, don't go out of the gate super strong and then peter out, and, and don't worry about going out a little too slow and having, quote unquote, too much energy at the end. I'd much rather you have the energy Oh my gosh, falling over already. I'd much rather you have the energy for getting on with your day, doing whatever it is you're gonna do for the rest of the day than spending all of your energy with today's workout. Let's go ahead and get moving. Go ahead and grab your dumbbells and we're gonna get started with just a simple marching or walking. I wanna kinda get us into this feel of having something a little bit heavy in your hands. Not too heavy though. We're gonna start with our first exercise, which is push, push. Now sometimes, if you are, if you are have been around the Polly Fitness channel for a while, you know push, push, crunch. However, there's no crunch today and I'm gonna have to think about this so hard. We're gonna push and push to one side and then push and push to the other. This is, this is the push, push crunches like kinder, gentler sister. <laughs> it's just getting a little bit moving and grooving. When it beeps again, we're gonna do kick jacks, which is pretty much what it sounds like. We're, our hands are gonna be doing jumping jacks while our feet are kicking. So hands up overhead, we're gonna kick and do jumping jacks. You notice I slowed way down. <laughs> oh yes. This is, this is the magic of having something a little bit heavy in your hands. When it beeps again, we're going to do something I call triceps curl downs. Hands are going to start at your chest and we're going to tap out one foot while curling down in kind of a, a triceps curl on that same side. So triceps curl down. This is the mini circuit, my friends. So when it beeps again, we're coming right back to push, push. In fact, I'm going to kind of scoot over a little bit right here. Push, push when it comes, when it beeps again. So you guys, here's the thing about calling something a boost. I want you to know that anytime you do anything, here we go with push and push and push and push. Coming up next is gonna be those kick jacks. Anytime you do anything, and I mean this literally, anything, standing up from a seated position, walking across the room, getting something to eat, <laughs> touching the television to change the channel, which I don't think anybody does anymore. <laughs> but anytime, here we go with kick jacks. Anytime you do anything, you, my friend, are boosting your metabolism because you are raising your heart rate. It, metabolism actually covers a lot of different processes that isn't just your heart rate, but that's the 
one that we tend to think about when it beeps again. Of course, we're doing those triceps curl downs. Here we go, triceps curl down with a little tap out to the side. When it beeps again, we're doing those push, push for the third and final time. This will be our third of our little mini circuit here. So, so I want you to know that I'm not asking you to hold something slightly heavy in your hands because it makes such a difference. Here we go with that push and push and push and push. Having, having like one pound, one kilogram, maybe a couple of pounds, even, even if, even if you haven't quite understood my message of moderation yet, and you've got some, some heavy weights in your hands. When it beeps again, of course, we're doing those kick jacks. Even if you have heavy weights in your hands and are doing cardio with them, the difference in your metabolism, your heart rate, is not going to be so significant that it's that it's worthy of, of thinking about in that way. When it beeps again, we're doing those triceps curl downs for the third and final time. Here we go. And I'll tell you right now, when it beeps again, we're going to do um, marching or walking just to kind of, just kind of cool it down and shake it out a little bit <laughs> as a little palate cleanser before our next mini circuit. The reason I have you hold something heavy in your hand is simply because we're working our body in a different way. I am much more, here we go about just walking, not just, I know, it feels like a lot when we've got something in our hands, my friends. This is what I'm talking about with a little bit of a boost. When it beeps again, we're gonna do toy soldiers, hands up over heads. We're gonna reach our opposite hand towards our opposite foot. The thing about boosting your metabolism is that we're going to do that naturally anyway by doing anything. When it beeps again, we're doing punch, punch, kick, which is just what it sounds like. We're gonna punch, we're gonna punch, and we're gonna kick, and I'm gonna try and keep it straight in my head because sometimes when we're doing that, it's a little bit too much coordination for me. So punch, punch, and kick. Punch, punch, and kick. When it beeps again, I'm already gonna think about this. We're gonna be doing booty kicker elbow swings. Lots of kicking. <laughs> One time it's forward, the next time it's backwards. This little mini circuit, whew, I tried to make sure that we had just the right amount of overhead and punching forward, and again, the swinging backwards. So the thing about boosting, I know that sometimes we get kind of caught up in, oh, if I have something like light weights or maybe even heavier weights in my hands, I'm gonna burn so many more calories and it's gonna be so worth my time. When it beeps again, we're doing toy soldiers. And the calorie burn, as we have at least partially discussed, is literally the least important thing that we're doing for weight loss. Calories burned is always gonna depend on your body's metabolism and what it wants to do. When we think about calories, when it beeps again, we're doing that punch, punch, kick. Punch, punch, and kick. When we think about calories, we tend to think about the calories that we eat as being the same as the calories that we burn. When it beeps again, we're doing those booty kicker elbow swings. And I will tell you that your body doesn't see it that way. <laughs> your body goes through so many processes. Here we go with booty kicker elbow swings. Your body goes through so many processes after the food comes in that we really truly need a different word for the energy that we put out because it's different. It's very different. When it beeps again, we're doing toy soldiers for the third and final time. So when we try to think about calories in versus calories out for our weight loss efforts, it's kind of, well, it's not a losing game. I mean, that's sort of a pun right there, but it's not, it's not a relevant game. When it beeps again, we're doing that punch, punch, kick, third and final time for our third mini circuit here with these three exercises, punch, punch, and kick. And it's why I'd like you to know that I'm never going to ask you to push harder or do a little more because it's good for weight loss. The reason I'm having you hold something in your hands to boost your workout today when it beeps again, we're doing those booty kicker elbow swings, is simply because this work is doing something different for your body. When you do cardio unweighted, you are moving your body in probably the most natural way. When it beeps again, we're going right back to that walking or marching. You are moving in a way that's super easy and gentle on your body. And so you're really focusing, here we go with our walking, 
Okay, you guys, our next mini circuit, we're gonna start with big arm side shuffles. I'm scooting over to the side, swinging our hands in a nice big circle right in front of our body while we shuffle to the side. You'll notice this is very different <laughs> than unweighted cardio. And this is what I'm talking about. With unweighted cardio, your body really focuses on making adaptations to your heart and lungs because that's the part of your body that's doing really most of the work. When it beeps again, we're gonna do double knees, having both hands up overhead, reaching our hands towards our knee two times on one side before we do the same thing on the other side. When you have something in your hands, your body kind of changes its focus. So here's our double knees. Oh, I gotta slow this way down. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's a lot tougher, and this is what I'm telling you. Of course, your heart and lungs still making all kinds of adaptations, still getting all kinds of work. When it beeps again, we're doing wide open side kicks. Gonna have our hands at shoulder height. Whew, opening up wide, maybe a little bit lower than shoulder height. <laughs> opening up wide while we kick to the side. This is a tough triplet, my friends. Take it at a pace that works for you. I'm definitely slowing down. I'm looking forward, oh my gosh, to putting my hands down a little bit for these big arm side shuffles. But this is a perfect illustration of exactly what I'm talking about. When we have something light but still resisting gravity in our hands, our body has to think differently about the adaptations that it's making. When it beeps again, doing those double knees, our body is really thinking about letting our muscles get better at doing a little bit of something, a lot. This is endurance work. It's, oh, oh my gosh, I was doing, <laughs> I was doing a million on one side, two on one side and two on the other. I was totally thinking about endurance work versus strength work and talking about that and not thinking about doing two knees on one side. Wide open side kicks here. I get very involved in my science lecture here telling you about what your body is learning to do. Your body is learning to let your muscles do a little bit of work for a relatively long amount of time. When it beeps again, we're doing those big arm side shuffles for the third and final time. This is our last time through this little mini circuit. Who doggies. Now, when we pick up something heavier, heavier than this, not necessarily heavy, heavy, it's always relative to your effort, your abilities. When it beeps again, we're gonna do double knees and I'm really gonna think about it. But when we pick up something heavier, your body is making a different kind of adaptation. So two knees on one side, two knees on the other side. When it beeps again, we're doing those wide open side kicks for the third and final time. When we're thinking about strength, power, it's different from endurance. Every time we do something different with our body, here we go with those wide open side kicks. When it beeps again, we get to go back to walking. I'm looking forward to it, how about you? <laughs> this, is, this is the tough stuff today, you guys. This is the kind of workout that might, that might get you right up to the edge of moderate. And this is what we're learning. Whew is how to keep things moderate. Just because I'm on screen doing things this way doesn't mean you have to. Drop your weights if it's too much. Go slower if it's too much. Do whatever you need to do to make this workout moderate for you. When it beeps again, we're doing twisting high knees. So the thing about, so we're twisting and we've got a high knee. I mean, <laughs> that was so self-explanatory. I didn't even bother to tell you what it was. We're twisting our torso while raising one high knee at a time. Your hands are right here above shoulder height. When it beeps again, we're doing upside down jacks, which means that we're starting with both hands up overhead. As one arm comes down, we step out. Oops, both hands come down actually. We step out to one side and then we step out to the other. You're actually shifting your weight all the way over. When we do this. Changing your center of gravity changes how your body is moving. When it beeps again, we're doing can-cans, which is one knee and one kick on one side. So knee and kick. And you can do a little front punch if you want to. You can keep the dumbbells right here at your shoulders if you'd like to. Either one is totally fine. I'm moving my hands a little bit, but not really doing like a full front punch. My arms and shoulders feeling this little bit of boost. This endurance work is simply different different, my friends. Here we go with those twisting high knees. Hands right here at your shoulders, twisting to one side while we bring up that same high knee. We're twisting into the high knee. When it beeps again, doing those upside down jacks. Both hands up overhead. Hands are doing jumping jacks. One foot is stepping all the way out at a time. Every 
time we teach our body to do something new and different. Your body doesn't like it. <laughs> Sometimes neither does your brain. <laughs> when it beeps again, we're doing those can-cans. This is, this is something that you will feel. I mean, when we talk about resistance work, sometimes the resistance, it's not just in your body. Here's the can-cans, a knee and a kick. Sometimes the resistance is in your brain. Sometimes you don't want to do something different. Sometimes you don't want to think something different. I totally, totally get that. <laughs> but the thing about doing something that your body doesn't love because it's different or that your brain doesn't love because it's different. Here we go with those twisting high knees. Is that your body has the biological imperative to stay the same as much as possible and when it can't stay the same it tries to get better. It's why we do different things with our body. It's why we boost our workout with light weights. Here we go with upside down jacks and both hands doing jumping jacks one foot at a time stepping out awesome job this is our third time through this mini circuit coming up next we're doing those can cans and when we ask our body to do something different that it hasn't done before or doesn't do you know every day knee and kick knee and kick your body is basically forced, and I say that as though we could actually force our bodies to do anything. We're asking our body, and our body will likely respond by getting better at it, getting more efficient. As you do workouts like this, endurance, muscle endurance workouts, here we go back to walking, your body will get better at them. This is the amazing, glorious thing about your miraculous body. When it beeps again, we're doing pretzel jacks, both hands up overhead. When your hands come down in a jumping jack, one foot at a time is going to twist inwards. You do not have to touch your hand to your foot. That is not the point. The point is that we are balancing. We are thinking about moving our hands. We are doing some muscle and cardio endurance. When it beeps again, we're doing middle skips. It's a skipping motion, and I'm definitely keeping my hands low for it today. Sometimes when we are unweighted, I can do a little bit higher, but today, who doggies. One hand, one knee, one hand, one knee, just like we're skipping. When it beeps again, we're doing low swinging tappers. As your body gets better at doing different things, it will, it will make adaptations. And that means that the more, the more you do certain things, so low swinging tappers, hands are just not going over your head. They can swing up pretty high. We can really get them rocking here if you'd like to. It simply means that they're not going up overhead like they will when it beeps again when we're doing our pretzel jacks. But every time we get a little bit better, that is us gaining fitness. Pretzel jacks here. And I know that we would all love to gain fitness by doing the same things <laughs> over and over and never changing and doing the same things that we've always been doing and doing the hard workouts that we've always been doing or trying to move more and eat less when it beeps here we go with mental skips. But the thing about doing something new is that we can get a new result. And the thing about doing something new is that it's not it's not necessarily going to burn more calories. It does, but that's not the point of burning more energy. The point is to help your body adapt, make changes. Here we go with those low swinging tappers. Nice job. When we ask ourselves to do something different, we get better. I know, I know, I am just as reluctant as you to do something new and different. Trust me when I tell you this. I would love to keep doing the same things that I've always been doing. Here we go with pretzel jacks for the third and final time. But sometimes, like right now, there's a time in our lives when we need to do something different to get a different result, when we need to boost our brain into realizing that doing something different is totally okay for us. And our body will be good with that too. Here's our middle skips for the third and final time. Coming up next is our low swinging tappers while we finish out our third time with this mini circuit. You guys, there's only one more mini circuit. You have done such a great job. I'm super impressed whew, with this boost we've got going on today. Here we go with these low swinging tappers. Nice, nice job. Whoo, doggies. Now, keeping in mind, we're still aiming for moderate. <laughs> Here's what happens at this point in any workout. We start to, it's called cardiac drift. I'm teaching you all kinds of science today. Here we go back to walking. 
Cardiac drift means that the longer you do anything, even something super mild, this is not super mild, but anytime you do anything, the longer you do it, the higher your heart rate is gonna go. When it beeps again, we're doing letter Ks. Both hands up overhead, we're reaching one hand down to the side towards that seam, kicking foot. And no, the goal is not to meet the foot in the middle. <laughs> it's simply to make a letter K on one side and not the letter K on the other. When it beeps again, we're gonna do reach across, which is exactly what it sounds like. I'm gonna keep mine pretty low. Lots of overhead work today. My shoulders are definitely telling me that this was overhead today. So I'm gonna keep my reach across pretty low, right about the middle, whatever feels comfortable for you. If you've still got it in you to go a little higher, your heart rate still feels very moderate, feels very doable, you, my friend, can reach wherever you want to. Coming up next, we're doing swing back high knees. Our hands are gonna be swinging back behind us and then up while we bring up one high knee at a time. So swing it back, swing it up. As you're swinging up, woo, we can really get some, some momentum going here. As you're swinging up, one high knee follows it. When it beeps again, coming back to those letter Ks, this is our mini circuit. I did this exercise, here we go with letter Ks. I did an exercise like that, oh my gosh, years ago. And I actually, rather than one high knee, did a jump, and I called them ski jumpers because that swinging arm motion. I've never been skiing in my life. I don't know if it actually feels like skiing or not, <laughs> but it looks like skiing. When it beeps again, we're doing those reach across. Excellent job. <laughs> Any exercise, almost any exercise in the world can be modified and moderated to wherever you want it to be. I don't really jump anymore. I don't, I don't really get down on the ground very much anymore. I mean, not in videos very often. When it beeps again, we're doing those swing back high knees. But I still, my friends, we have lots of fun and get my heart rate as high as I would like it to be to get the results that I want to get. Oh my gosh, I love this one. <laughs> I like anything that has momentum like this, making sure that you're pulling in your core, controlling this motion while we're having fun with it. Letter K's are next. That is the trick when we've got something in our hands, really always thinking about good form, moving your body in a way that makes sense so that you don't get injured. My friends, it's why I would always have you, rather have you go lighter weights. Here we go with reach across for the third and final time. I'm excellent job. My goal is to get you all the way through this month completely injury free and understanding how beautiful and loving moderation is for your body and your goals. Here we go with those swinging, swing back high knees. Whee! And you guys, when we are done with this little mini circuit, we are done, but we're not quite finished. I've got one more walking interval for us, and then I've got one final thing that I, whew, I'm gonna put my dumbbells down for it. In fact, I'm gonna put my dumbbells down when it beeps and I'm gonna do the walking whew, at a regular pace with empty hands. Okay, so coming up next, I've got a finisher for us. It's one interval on each side of super slow letter Ks. So those letter Ks that we just did as a cardio move, we're gonna do them really, really slow to practice our balance. So hands up overhead. I'm gonna start by standing on my left leg, making the letter K, which I think actually is the letter K for you. I never remember, somebody told me. And I still, yes, if I'm making the letter K on my right side, I'm pretty sure this is the letter K. If it's not, then it's not the letter K. <laughs> when it beeps, we're gonna do this exact same thing on the other side, here we go. I'm gonna pretend like I didn't just fall out of it and that I totally knew it was beeping. You are, of course, welcome to tap down, welcome to hang on to something. When we practice balance, it's practice. It's never a test. I promise no letter cable police are gonna to come to your door and say, oh, by the way, I saw you bobbling over there and now we're taking you to the letter K jail. Ah, <sighs> thank goodness. <laughs> because I would be in balanced jail like all the time, you guys. <laughs> Let's cool it down. What a great job you did. Can you imagine balanced jail? Hi, yi, yi, you guys. You guys, how good did that feel? Kind of boosted your mood a little bit too, didn't it? I know, I know. This is why I love, I love doing something a little bit different. It feels so good when you're done. <laughs> It doesn't always feel good when you're doing it. It doesn't always feel fun to do something new. But then afterwards, when we get the results that we're looking for, when we make adaptations, when we get where we wanna go, 
it was totally worth it. Let's go ahead and do some arm openers. Oh my gosh, open up to it. And then close up and give yourself a big hug and a pat on your sweaty back, my friends. What a great job you did today. You always do. You always do, and I'm always impressed. I've got a much longer cool down for you. Much longer, that sounded really weird. I've got an extended cool down for you that really isn't all that long, but it is longer than the one we're gonna do here in this video. That can really help you get all the sweat off of your body and help you maybe not be sore tomorrow. That's always my goal. Let's not be sore tomorrow. Let's just feel amazing and do something well, not exactly like this, but something moderate like this. On the other side of the screen, of course, is the informational video that tells you everything you need to know to be successful walking off the weight this month and as long as you need to, to get your goal. My friends, my friends, make sure you click the subscribe button before you go and I'll see you tomorrow.